Bruce Berry, a roadie for Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, died of a heroin overdose in June 1973. Barry had just flown out to Maui to deliver a shipment of cocaine to Stephen Stills and was promptly sent back to LA by Crosby and Nash. Barry was a brother of Jan Barry, of Jan and Dean. Dean Torrance, the Dean of Jan and Dean, had played a part in the fake kidnapping of Frank Sinatra Jr. just a couple weeks after the JFK assassination. The staged event was a particularly transparent effort to divert attention away from the questions that were cropping up. After the initial shock had passed, about the events in Dealey Plaza. Clarence White, a guitarist who had played with the birds, was run over by a drunk driver and killed on July 14th, 1973. White had grown up near Lancaster, not far from where Frank Zappa spent his teen years. At least one member of White's immediate family was employed at Edwards Air Force Base. The driver who killed young Clarence, just 29 years old at the time of his death, was given a one-year suspended sentence and served no time. Graham Parsons Formerly with the International Submarine Band, the Birds, and the Flying Burrito Brothers allegedly overdosed on a speedball at the Joshua Tree Inn on September 19, 1973. Just two months before his death, Parsons' Topanga Canyon home had burnt to the ground. After his death, his body was stolen from LAX by the Burritos' road manager, Phil Kaufman and then taken back out to Joshua Tree and ritually burned on the autumnal equinox. Kaufman had been a prison buddy of Charles Manson's at Terminal Island. When Phil was released from Terminal Island in March of 1968, he quickly reunited with his old pal who had been released one year earlier. By the time of Graham's death, his family had already experienced its share of questionable deaths. Just before Christmas 1958, Parsons' father had sent Graham, along with his mother and sister, off to stay with family in Florida. The next day, just after the winter solstice, Ingram Cecil Connor Jr. caught a bullet to the head. His death was recorded as a suicide, and it was claimed that he had sent his family away to spare them as much pain as possible. It seems just as likely, however, that Cecil knew his days were numbered and wanted to get his family out of the line of fire. The next year, 1959, Graham's mother married again, this time to Robert Ellis Parsons who adopted Graham and his sister, Avis. Six years later, in June of 1965, Graham's mother died the day after a sudden illness landed her in the hospital. According to witnesses, she died, quote, almost immediately after a visit from her husband, Robert Parsons. Many of those close to the situation believed that Parsons had a hand in her death. Very shortly after, Robert Parsons married his stepdaughter's teenage babysitter. Following his mother's death, Parsons briefly attended Harvard University and then launched his music career with the formation of the International Submarine Band, which quickly found its way to, where else? Laurel Canyon. Graham's death in 1973 at the age of 26 left his younger sister Avis as the sole surviving member of the family. She was killed in 1993, reportedly in a boating accident at the age of 40.